It may seem like everywhere you travel these days, it's a construction zone. Crews are digging into projects all over the state, thanks to an influx of about $150 million in federal stimulus funds. But according to a new study by the nonprofit research group TRIP, all this work is just a drop in the bucket when it comes to the miles and miles of main roads and bridges in need of repair. It was a, like a lifeboat, if you will, right, at a very critical time. But as you move forward, I, I think what should alarm people in Maine is that the state acknowledges that the trend is that things are going to get worse with the current level of funding. According to the Maine Department of Transportation's own numbers, the state is only able to fund about 50 percent of its repaving needs. And as a result, the number of deficient roads in the state is going to rise from 18 percent in need of significant repairs now to 24 percent in 2014. 14 percent of bridges are rated as structurally deficient. And that, says Matt McKenzie of AAA, means drivers are paying the price. Motors are really paying an increased uh, cost, maintenance cost of the vehicles. On average, about $250 a year more than they would if the roads were good. And officials with TRIP say the state could create more jobs and help end the recession if it followed through with projects long in the works, like the completion of the Route 25 bypass in Gorham. But more critically in the long term, as you improve your infrastructure, after the work is done, you have an asset. And, and those are assets that save people money. The question is where all the money is going to come from to complete these projects. The legislature has repeatedly voted down increasing the gas tax to do it, something that AAA says is short-sighted. You're paying one way or the other, so it, it's time that we need to take a hard look at, at the transportation system in Maine. We need to back into what we need to do, and we need to fund these roads and bridges to make sure that our infrastructure is adequate. But at a time when the state's budget is tighter than ever, Convincing Mainers to spend more, to save more, might be a tough road. In South Portland, Caroline Cornish, News Center.